You're looking for this little icon with the work group icon with three computers. Okay, it's not seeing the um, the system that uh, the NAS on a normal um, a normal browse. Um, that's because it's not in the same work group. So we'll just go and change the work group. Windows likes to use um, MS Home as a default work group. Because it's not in applications, it's in network services here. Microsoft networking. Okay, so we'll change this to MS Home. Change this as well. Turbo NAS. Essentially, if you don't have the same work group set up that you're using in your computers, um, it's not going to find anything. You could, of course, change your computers, but okay. So let's see if it finds it. We'll do a refresh on the uh, MS Home work group. This should go out and do a broadcast poll of the uh, of the network and see um, what devices are out there. And there we go. Doesn't seem to have updated the uh, the description, but so double clicking on the NAS, we've got our um, all of our default shares. These are default shares set up by QNAP um, that the various functionalities of the the device use. And I've thrown everything into download just um, temporarily. Um, okay, so it's asking us for a username and password. I haven't set anything up yet, so we'll just try the, um, the default admin password that we were using. Right, I didn't put them in download, I put them in public. Okay, so there's all my files. We're set up, we can access the, uh, the NAS, and if you wanted to, you can of course um, just map a network drive by um, going into uh, tools on the menu bar and say map network drive choose a drive letter um, set up your uh, UNC path name or, uh, or browse out to the uh, to the NAS and just as we did here public okay and reconnect at uh, login And now we've got our Y drive mapped right to, to that folder.